Welcome to Miata Mecca, the place you want to be for knowledge and parts for the maintenance and restoration of your Mazda Miata. Today we're going to take a look at the replacement of the front upper control arm ball joints on the 1990 through 1997 Mazda Miata using our kit from our eBay store, Miata Mecca. Now, your ball joints might be like this, loose and sloppy. And if so, you're going to need our kit from our eBay store, Miata Mecca. So what are we waiting for? Hey, let's get down to the shop and get started. The first step in our project is going to be to remove the, the protective ball joint boot. So we're going to put it in the vise, and then we're going to use a small chisel to pry the boot away from the ball joint. So that's put in the vise, and then I'm going to use a small chisel. What I'm going to do is go in right between the ball joint and the boot, and I'm going to get in there and open it up. This is an interfinery steel stick, so it's kind of pressed onto there. Let's get it loose. There we go. We got that bad ball joint boot off. Now there, there's that loose and floppy. Still a little play in it too. Next step is we're going to pull it off of here and take it over to the press and press the ball joint out. To set up in the press, I have to set this level. I'm going to back this up. I've got this old bearing race, outer bearing race that just fits just right over here, and I'm going to back this up. So I'm going to set it up here, and when I set it on the press, I want to set it level. So this isn't crooked, so this is a, has a flush, so I get a straight push on it. Now to push it out, I'm going to use this piece of pipe that just fits just over, you can see it just fits just over the, the ball joint itself. So now I've got it backed up and I'm ready to push it out of the AON. So here it goes. There it comes. There it goes. We got the ball joint pushed out of the AM. Here's a new ball joint. So now we have the new ball joint to actually press into place. So it's actually going to go in this way. That means that we have to flip the AM over. We're going to set up a little different. We need to raise this height here. And to do it, to push it in, we're going to have to use our bed off lower timing gear off a 90, the small nose timing gear, and we're going to use that, we're going to put that on the bottom so that when it gets pushed in it has the snout of the ball joint, the stem of the ball joint has a, a way to go in there. So we're going to use this, we're going to back it up with this now. So we have this, set it up, get our new ball joint, Set our new ball joint in there. Get everything centered. And we're going to push that new ball joint into place. She goes, coming into place, nice and tight. There we go. Let's pull her out of here. Looks good. Next step is we're going to put on that new boot. We'll show you how to put that interference fit on the boot where it fits on the lip over the, the new ball joint. So we're going to put in the vise. We do snug it down so we can work with it. Now here's the ball joint boot. Ball joint boot's right here. And what we've got is we've got a piece of pipe that will just 
slip over the ball joint boot. It's kind of loose, it's not too tight. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to press the boot onto the ball joint. So we're going to set it up, put it on there, and when we do, we're just going to tap it right down and set it onto the ball joint, the boot. There it is. We've got the boot pressed onto the ball joint now. Now there's a zerk fitting. There's a zerk fitting in the the ball joint, so we're going to actually grease it. So we're going to put the zerk fitting in and add some grease to it. Chuck it up so we can get that grease fitting in it. There we go. Okay. Now the, the ball joint comes pre-greased, but what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to give it about five strokes. One, two, three. Four, five. So we don't lose the net, we'll put the net on and a cotter pin in it. There we go. We've got it set. Another job well done. The final product. The ball joint's been replaced and a little black satin paint and she's good as new and ready to hang back onto your Miata. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video. We hope it's been helpful and we'll see you around the next time. Miata is in bloom The transmission will zoom, zoom, we'll try to Push the clutch, keep the gas pedal down See the rear wheels spinning around Another gear, another squeal Starting to drift, power slide I feel Radio belts wrapped around our minds An endless asphalt to keep the law behind